Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. In the process of maintaining law and order along the highways and byways of the state, the Highway Patrol is confronted with many unusual crimes and criminals. But the most baffling crime is often committed by a first offender, a person considered above suspicion. Such a crime occurred on May 13th. Oh, hello, Mikir. What can I do for you? What's happened to my check? It's been due for over a week. Well, you'll have to turn in a corrected bill for that. Well, why? There wasn't anything wrong with the bill I turned in. Mr. Morgan had a little talk with me. He thinks the job should have been done in five days. But I estimated the job at seven days absolute minimum. And you okayed it. Well, uh, I, I changed my mind. Now I think the job should have been done in five days. Where's Mr. Morgan? I want to see him. He's going to be home for a few days. Why don't you, why don't you come back next week sometime? Next week won't do. I've got to pay my loaders and drivers today. Look, Meeker. Will you take my advice? Turn in a corrected bill for five days. That's all he's going to pay. And Mr. Morgan can be a pretty stubborn man when he wants to be. So can I. Especially when I know I'm right. I see you for a minute? I suppose so. If it's about that holding job... That's what it's about. You brought the corrected bill? No, I didn't, Mr. Morgan. The bill I turned in was exactly right. Well, my understanding is you gave us a price for five days' work and then tried to collect for seven. But I didn't give you a price for five days' work. Three weeks ago, Preston estimated five days at $85 a day. But... Now, Mr. please, may I finish? You will admit that Preston did ask you for an estimate. Well... Yes, and I told him the job would take seven days minimum. Preston has worked for me for years. Do you expect me to take your word against his? All I expect is my money, Mr. Morgan. Okay, we'll settle this thing right now. I'll pay you five days, $85 a day. Mr. Morgan, if you'd think for a minute, you'd know that job couldn't be done in less than seven days. Well, five days' pay doesn't clear me with the loaders and the drivers. I'll wind up losing money. That's business. You'll estimate your jobs more carefully in the future. No, you keep it, Mr. Morgan. I, I can afford it better than you can. Get out of here, Mika. Get out before I throw you out. I wouldn't believe it. You're as bad as Preston. You're a swindler. You're both crooks.
Mr. Morgan? Are you there? It's Preston. Mr. Morgan. Preston, a man with a background of honesty and respectability, is presented with a sudden and violent temptation. A temptation he failed to resist. Mr. Morgan, ah. what happened? Uh. Operator, get me the highway patrol. And hurry, please. Matthew. Oh, yes, Mr. Preston. Where is it? All right, fine, we'll be there. Arthur Morgan's refusal to believe him and pay his honest bill put Brian Meeker in the position of having to meet a payroll without funds. Unaware that even then the highway patrol was searching for him, Meeker's difficulties were growing more numerous by the moment. The bank, refusing his needed loan, put still another problem before the youthful contractor. And you say Meeker was gone when you came to? That's right, he was gone. Then what happened? Well, I was getting to my feet when Preston here came in and helped me. When did you get here? Well, I uh, drove up just as Meeker was pulling out. I see. When did you find the money was missing? Well, almost immediately. I went to close the safe. The money wasn't there. Well, Preston's your only witness to the fact that the money was missing. Well, no, I don't think. Preston never went near the safe. Did you? No. No, I, I never did. Watch, is it yours? Yes, must have broken when I fell. Seen better days. What about these glasses? No, I never wear glasses. Are yours? No, uh, I wear glasses, but uh, those, those are not mine, no. Well, what are you going to do about all this? I'll pick up Maker, bring him over here, see what he's got to say. To headquarters. Headquarters, by. 1028, any vehicle registered to Brian Meeker. Three Minute Road. APB on Meeker. Suspicion of assault and robbery. He's about 25, 5 feet 11. Dark hair. Last seen wearing jeans, check shirt, and leather jacket. 10 4. 10 4. Let's go. Mr. Morgan? <clears throat> Mr. Morgan, in all the excitement, I forgot to tell you. Potter's due at the plant right now. He's got the revisions on those estimates. Well, go take care of it. If the price is under the figure we discussed, tell him to go ahead. Right. You, 
Want me to phone you and let you know what happened? No, after you see Potter, you better come back here. You might be needed. I'll do that. Mm. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. <clears throat> Sign left? No, sir. Let's go. against the wall. You won't find anything, mister. I hit it with my fist. Check the car. Yes, sir. Get inside. Morgan had $12,000 before the fight. What happened to it? Hey, wait a minute. What are you getting at? It's missing. He said you took it. Well, that makes him even worse than I thought. He's a no-good liar. Well, look, Mr. Matthews, I know you're a police officer with a job to do, but will you listen to my side of this story? Sure, go ahead. I just got an independent contractor's license. I, I, I invested all my ready cash in a truck. I've done a lot of work for Mr. Morgan. Well, one time he even offered me a job. But I figured I'd rather be on my own. Then this job came along, and to show my appreciation, I cut my estimate to where I'd only make a little over $100 in seven days. And here's the time cards on the loaders and the drivers. And here's a memorandum on a trip that spilled over into the eighth day. I didn't even put that on the bill. I agreed to do the job in seven days, and I kept my word. What's that got to do with $12,000? Look, I've been working for four years to get myself started in business. I'm coming along slow, but I'm making lots of friends. I'm going to get married. Well, wouldn't I be a fool to steal Mr. Morgan's money and ruin my whole life? Were you near Morgan's safe when you were there this morning? No, I wasn't. He went to the safe and got the money to pay me for five days, and when I refused it, he put it back in the safe. You're sure you weren't near it? Positive. All right. Here are your glasses. They were found right under the safe. I never wore glasses in my life. I got 20-20 vision, and that's something I can prove to anybody. I hope you're right, kid. Let's go. The car's clean. He must have kept the money in his pockets. There's an undisturbed layer of dust in the trunk and a glove compartment. Look, how many times have I got All right, come on, get going. Optometrist names on the case. Check it for print. See if they belong to Mika or Preston. Secure in his knowledge that the stolen money was safely hidden, Preston turned his attention to the business next in order. 
that of fastening the guilt upon young Brian Meeker and keeping himself in the clear. You didn't get very far, did you? Where's my money? Maybe I shouldn't have hit you like I did, Mr. Morgan, but when you say I took any money from me, you're lying. Well, Mika, you... All right, simmer down. Stop calling each other names. Well, he stole my money. The assault charge is obvious. The theft charge is one man's word against another. But Preston here is a witness. A witness to what? You said he wasn't even near the safe. Well, yes, that's true. Can you swear there was $12,000 in there? Did you see it? Well, no. Well, you have my word for it. Do you want to prefer charges? I do. I demand the arrest of Meeker on a charge of assault with intent to do bodily harm and the theft of $12,000. Assault will do for the moment. Mr. Matthews. You'll have your day in court. Let's go. I guess there's nothing more I can do here. I might as well get back on the job. What about Potter and the estimates? Oh, uh, well, he called to say he couldn't make it. I expect to see him later this afternoon. Well, if he tries to back out of his agreement, call me. But I hope we don't have any more excitement today. So do I. Well, I'll, uh, I'll ring you later on. Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. Headquarters, bye. Give me the exact time the Morgan robbery call came in. To the minute. Stand by. Call received, uh, 1017. 10 4. 10 4. An idea? Morgan's watch was broken in the fight. It stopped at one minute after 10. Headquarters never got the call till 17 minutes after. Yeah. Preston arrived just as the kid here was leaving. Well, what happened to those other minutes? I don't know. It's something to work on. Let's find out. I'd like to talk to you about that broken watch of yours. What about it? Does it keep good time? I don't think it gained or lost a minute a week. Why? Well, Mika left here about two minutes after 10. Preston passed him on the way in. Preston found you on the floor just coming to, and he called Highway Patrol Headquarters. Headquarters never got the call to 1017. Right now, we're looking for 10 or 12 minutes, and what happened during that time? I wouldn't know. I was unconscious. What about Preston? He wasn't unconscious. Oh, I don't think it's possible. Oh, wait a minute. Did either one of you leave the house while we were looking for Mika today? Well, Preston did. Yeah, where'd he go? Back to the construction yard. Why? To keep an appointment with Mr. Potter, the materials company. Check it. Check what? See if he was telling the truth. <clears throat> this is ridiculous. Could be. Hello, this is Arthur Morgan. May I speak with Mr. Potter? Hello, Potter. Say, about that appointment you had with Preston today. You didn't have an appointment with Preston? Well, what about those estimates? Oh, yes, I understand. Thank you very much. Yes, as soon as I can. All right, what goes? Father sent those estimates to the field office by a special delivery by a messenger this morning. 
Preston signed for them. Hello. Just a minute. It's for you. Oh, thanks. Mr. Matthews. What's that again? Okay. Those glasses were made for Preston. Then Preston lied when he said he hadn't been near the safe. Yeah, where is he now? Well, when he left here, he's going back to the plant. Thanks. Mr. Matthews. Yeah, what? What about Mika? Well, he's still under arrest unless you withdraw the assault charge. I withdraw the charge. Both of them. You only had one. Next time, keep your hands in your pockets, kid. Yeah. Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. Headquarters, bye. Proceeding Morgan Distribution Plant to apprehend suspect Rudolph Preston. Have nearest available unit cover back of plant. Preston description and license number on record. Ten four. Ten four. Let's go. Morgan, it's Preston. Preston. Yes? Potter sent those estimates by special messenger. They just arrived and I wondered if you wanted me to bring them over to you. Preston, you're a liar. You never had an appointment with Potter today. You received those estimates early this morning and you signed for them. You're not only a liar, you're a thief. Preston, well, why don't you say something? Preston, are you still there? Preston, Preston. So good now, does it? Move.
Sea Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, it isn't what you drive, but how you drive that counts. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.